opportunity to uh, get into the tape on uh, Minnesota, and I thought that our, our uh, you know, while there's a lot of things that were frustrating or maybe disappointing, there were also some things that were, were positives. I thought we had a bunch of positives on defense. Uh, you know, we played pretty hard. We had a couple big stops there in the first half that gave us an opportunity to, you know, go into halftime and, and, and a really competitive game. Uh, kind of let it get away from us a little bit uh, late third quarter. Uh, I thought that uh, Christian Izzy and Deion Jennings stepped up and did a nice job for young guys getting a, a lot of work. They, they really uh, they played well. They played really physical and uh, you know, they played with a lot of energy. I thought uh, that, that definitely added some things for us. Uh, and I was really proud of the way that we kind of finished the game on offense. We at least put some things out there. It's one of the big things I've been trying to push our guys on is that you know we have to just keep playing no matter what the score is so we have an opportunity to grow and get better and have something to build up for the next week. And I think we did that a little bit. And, uh, Third and fourth quarter, uh, you know, and then obviously we've got a great opportunity. Uh, should be a really good game on Saturday, and you know, I think the, the players are really excited to go forward and, and get back to work. And Zio, I mean, how do you approach a game like this where, you know, there's going to be it's obviously out of the Big Ten play, and, and this is a team that's coming in here looking to make their kind of statement. How do you kind of discuss that with your players? You know, independent school that's coming in probably thinking, you know, this is their shot to make a wave nationally. Yeah, they're on a pretty good roll. Uh, you know, I mean, I think that, you know, I don't think anybody's in a position to ever uh, approach any game differently. I, you know, so no matter what, I mean, for us, it, it, you know, it's a huge game because it's an opportunity to go out and compete, an opportunity to go out and win a game. And But we can't treat it any different than any other game, you know, uh, you know, regardless of the opponent, I think that we have to go out and we have to play really well. And, you know, I've been saying this for a couple of weeks, but we really have to take care of our own business and, you know, make sure that our house is in order. And if we, if we do that, you know, then it should be a really good game. I think that they're, uh, you know, they're a pretty impressive team, though. They get better every week and, you know, they've uh, found ways to win and, you know, on offense and defense. They make some plays in special teams. So, uh, you know, I, I enjoy watching them. You know, you look at the tape and they do a bunch of good things. After a solid performance last week from uh, Kayron Adams, is there a plan to redshirt him or get him more carries? Uh, I don't know that the plan's ever been to redshirt. I mean, I think we'll play it by ear, you know, and just see what's, you know, what happens. But I think he's a heck of a football player. I mean, I think he's kind of ready to go, and you know, you know we got to find a way to probably get him in the game earlier. You know, I, I think that he, uh, you know, he's a physical runner. He's tough. Uh, you know, the, obviously there's always uh, a learning curve for freshmen and the things like pass protection and stuff like that, which Isaiah went through and probably around midseason last year, Isaiah started to get more opportunities, and I, I think he did a good job with it. So, you know, hopefully there's opportunity for him to grow and, and really prepare himself. Coach, how do you uh, plan to divvy up the quarterback reps this week? Is it going to be kind of an open competition? How, how are you kind of going about that? Oh, I don't know if it'll be an open competition, but Cole will get more reps. You know, uh, he needs to be more prepared. Uh, you know, I've talked to him. I mean, we're going to preserve his red shirt. I don't think that would be uh, fair to, to him uh, or for the future of the program to not do that. Uh, but if there's opportunities where we think he gives us the best chance uh, to do something, we'll use it. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how <coughs> practice goes throughout the week, but he will, he will get more reps. and. You know, we'll try to get him as many reps in the competitive situations as we can to prepare him uh, in the event that, uh, you know, that we decide to go that route. But right now, you know, Johnny's going to start the game and, you know, we'll keep building on what we're doing. Just to follow up with Bobby asked, at least in your own head, is there some sort of timetable where you have to decide if Cole could enter the game or, or is ready to enter the game Wednesday, Thursday, whatever? Happens? Yeah, I would say that by the time you finish practice on Wednesday, you probably have to have a pretty good idea of, you know, where he fits, you know, where he would fit in uh, the game plan. Uh, you know, I have no plans of, of starting him, but, you know, if there's uh, an opportunity to get him in the game where it would be good for the team and good for him and his development, then uh, we would definitely do that. But it is also important that we have five games left and we need to make sure that, you know, we're in the right position. God forbid, you know, if something happens, right. you know, we need him and we don't want to burn his red shirt either. So, you know, there's a number of factors that work there. Through the whole um, in the past few weeks when you've been interim head coach, what has Pat Hobbs been telling you, like, you know, advice, message, and, you know, what, what, some, what are some of those conversations like? Uh, he's just been really positive, you know. I mean, he understands the situation that we're in, and I, I think that, you know, one of the things that we're looking for, you know, we're looking for growth, we're looking for improvement, we're looking for effort. Uh, you know, some of it is individual growth. You know, it doesn't really necessarily all show up. Uh, on game day, but you know, I think like even the way the game ended and the way the guys competed in the fourth quarter, and you know, a couple good things happened on offense. You know, he recognizes that. I mean, you know, I think we're all well aware of the you know the situation that we've been in for the you know last few months. So, 
uh, we're just looking to try and keep getting better. And obviously, there's some really tough games coming down the road. So, you know, this has to be an opportunity for us to, to show some legitimate growth uh, this coming week. I think Bo has two touches the last two weeks. Is there anything you can do to get him more involved? He might be your fastest guy now that Raheem's not playing. Yeah, we have to. You know, I, it, it's been frustrating because, you know, I, and honestly, they, they have been non-productive plays, not because of him, yeah. but just because of uh, things that we've done, you know. Uh, we tried to dial up a couple shots for him. You know, we kind of ran into some protection issues, had to get out of the pocket. Uh, there were a few different things that have hurt us. So we have to get the ball in his hands, you know, whether it's quick game, you know, whatever it is, you know, handoffs. But he, he is a dynamic player, and, you know, you, every week you want to, you know, get it up to say get the ball in the hands of the players that can win the game for you, and he is certainly one of them. Uh, he's actually been phenomenal. I mean, the way he's practiced and, you know, his attitude, I, I couldn't be happier or prouder of the way he's, he's acted. Uh, even in the game the other day, you know, at the end of the game when, uh, you know, we were starting to get so many other guys, he wanted to keep playing and stay in there and use this as an opportunity to, you know, you know, just keep growing. And we actually tried a couple plays there, just, you know, the way it read out, it didn't go to him. And just skipping to the quarterbacks, I know you, you guys take it one week at a time, but with the red shirt stuff and the, the game count, do you have to kind of map out the next five games and figure out, like, where you can put a call here or there or maybe kind of, well, that's what makes it interesting is that, you know, you, you really want to do what's best for him and you want to do what's best for the future of the program. Uh, you know, it's not like we're going to the Rose Bowl. So uh, we have to make sure that we put him in a position that I would love to get him in three more games. Uh, at the same time, I don't know what the, you know, the health of everyone will be coming down the road. So what I love to say, yeah, we would map it out and say, hey, you're going to play in this game and the next one and then not, you know, I don't know that we have the luxury of doing that. I mean, you know, right now, uh, for the most part, we have, two viable scholarship quarterbacks to play in the game. So to risk throwing him in there for a drive may not be in the best interest of the team. And, you know, that is something that, you know, we have to weigh the whole way. Um, Art and Blackshear were both comfortable coming to you and saying that they wanted to sit and, and survey their options. Ha has Cole come to you either way saying that he, he's comfortable playing or, or, or he doesn't want to play? Has he expressed anything like that to you? Uh, not really. I mean, I think he wants to play if the opportunity comes, but he also wants the redshirt, you know, he, he, yeah. uh, just because that's been the plan all along and, you know, it would not, that probably wouldn't be fair for him. But I think he's having a lot of fun having the opportunity to get a lot more reps and, you know, he's in there, he's, you know, he, he's getting reps in practice, he's getting, you know, some real live bullets a little bit. So I think that he's enjoying that, but at the same time, I do believe that he knows it's in his best interest to, to redshirt. We get asked by fans a lot. I don't want. I know you can't give away game planning or strategy, but Pacheco, Wildcat, is that still on the table? Are you just working on that? Yeah, I, you know, it's always possible. I mean, it's not a real offense, you know. Yeah. So I mean, fans, you know, I, you know, you hear people say that. I mean, it, yeah, it, it's, it, but it's a somewhat of a gimmick. I mean, you know, and Johnny's a pretty good runner, and you know, so that's not necessary. You know, we're not trying to run him a whole lot because we don't have a lot of depth at quarterback. But there's a lot that goes into that. You know, it disrupts practice because it takes reps away from things that you need to do. So I understand that people think like we could just jump in the wildcat. And you know, if you think we're seeing a lot of guys in the box now, you know, what would that look like? So, you know, if if there's an opportunity where we think it would be an advantage for us, you know, obviously we'll use it. But uh, it's also he has to be prepared to play the game at running back, handle all the runs, the pass protections, the blocking, and then to ask him to go in and play quarterback. You know, it's not as easy as people might think. Have you dug into past offenses maybe you haven't run or kind of looked for things that might work the past few weeks, kind of going outside the box? Well, you study a lot of things. I mean, but more of that, a lot of that is more like, you know, off-season stuff and research, you know. I mean, I, I – but at the same time, like, you can only teach your guys so much. So to ask them to change a great deal, I, you know, I don't know that that's in, in their best interest. Actually, like – fairly certain it's not in their best interest. You know, it's not like we're going to come out and run the triple option on Saturday. You know, I mean, that takes tremendous work, and that's not really what we are, and that wouldn't really develop our players for the future. So, you know, we're not trying to, you know, mortgage the future for the present. You know, that, that doesn't really make sense. I don't think that that's my responsibility here. I think my responsibility is to try and get us to continue to move forward so that those guys can develop the skills it takes to compete at this level. And, you know, I understand that the results are not there yet, but that doesn't mean that we should do things that they're not going to do with, you know, uh, you know, next year. 
Play two more questions. Coach, what seems to be the issue with the offensive line? Is it experience or strength or so on? Uh, you know, it's a variety of things. You know, I, at times we're doing a really good job. We seem to kind of, as an offensive unit, we seem to break down at many different spots. It's not like, oh, hey, this is the problem. Hey, you know, we're just getting killed at this one position. Uh, across the board, you know, we'll protect it well, we'll miss the throw. We'll protect it well, we'll throw a good ball, we might drop it, or maybe we'll run the route two yards too deep, or, you know, we'll go out there and we have everything wired up and we just miss the block. So it, it seems like across the board that's been an issue. Um, you know, hopefully we're getting a little more healthy. Reggie Sutton is getting healthy. Raekwon O'Neal is getting healthy. I, I hopefully, as we have, you know, eight viable players to go through the game, that will maybe help us out a little bit. I, I think it will. I think those guys are talented young players. I mean, they're only freshmen, but they are, you know, they are good players. Final question? Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.